Hello again. Thank you very much for joining me here on Movie Ninja. Tonight, I'm going to be talking about Arcane League of Legends episodes 4 through 6, and there will be some minor spoilers. So, from where we left off at the third episode, a few years have passed, and Piltover is experiencing unprecedented prosperity thanks to Hextech, a type of industrialized magic pioneered by Jace and his partner Victor. From where we left off, these three episodes do their best to expand the roles of our primary as well as formerly peripheral characters. You have Caitlin trying to become a full-fledged detective. You have Jace trying to become more of a big wheel in the city of Piltover. You have Vi trying to avenge her past. And what do I mean by that? I mean, of course, avenging the people that she lost, but also trying to avenge the loss of what little family she used to have. You have these characters undergoing a decent amount of growth and transformation in really only a few episodes. It's actually extremely well calibrated, I would say. Now, the two main storylines that interested me the most about this were Jace and Jinx. Now, I mentioned Jace in the beginning. He went from a wide-eyed, idealistic engineer, magician, scientist to someone who is now being propped up and groomed to be one of the council. They are the ruling class of the city. And from here, we see him make this transformation slowly but surely into someone who is much more practical and industrious on a personal level and use that energy towards political goals. And it's a very interesting sort of like tweak to the character as he is right now. Uh, I will say this, uh, something that I was not expecting in episode five, um, where we have the first three episodes and it seemed that kind of at their edgiest, kind of at their heaviest, they're really a PG-13 uh, sort of like mode of uh, media. Episode 5 definitely does lean farther to the adult, which is fine. I mean, you know, people have to sort of like, I'm just giving the heads up. People, you know, uh, deserve to like know that because there is a hot and steamy like scene that is in episode 5 featuring uh, Jace and another council member. So just putting that out there, but we see him become something a little bit more in a nuanced way. I do appreciate that they weren't a bit heavy handed. It's like, oh, he has a little bit of power and then he loses his mind and becomes just a, an absolute like evil character. No, 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 that's not the way it is. The series overall is very well calibrated. It is, uh, it is very... Uh, delicately balanced between action and drama, especially because in the middle portion where we are, four through six, you know, you have a decent amount of buildup, you know, leading as a rising action, which makes sense. There is a decent amount of action as well, um, but I digress. Okay, so Jace, he's changing into more of a wheeler and a dealer and i'm not entirely sure where exactly his story will end up even though a lot of people have commented on the first three videos and you know everybody's been saying that we're all kind of like kind of in the dark we're all in the same like playing field i have been trying to stay away from other like media that may or may not explain where these characters are leaning into, but as I mentioned, Jace is a particularly interesting uh, character to follow in his, in his storyline. And the other one, and perhaps the most important of these uh, last three episodes, is Jinx, formerly Powder. This is Vi's uh, younger sister, and she has firmly installed herself as a member of Silco's gang, as a bit of a quartermistress as well as top leg breaker. She is definitely someone who wants to be taken seriously in this gang and she is trying her best to please and in this environment where 
the more damage and harm that you do, the better. It seems like it's a troubling appropriate fit. But one of the things that I really do like about her story is the fact that we do not just glance over her trauma. In fact, most of her story in and of itself is a story of regret. She didn't want the events of the first three episodes to play out as they did, and yet she does personally recognize her involvement and her responsibility in those events. And because of it, she, we do see that she has mental scars. The past is, it's always right there. It's always behind us, and yet it's always with us in the present. And so with Jinx, it was would have been so easy to write off this character as well. Just as I was saying with Jace, it would have been very easy to write off this character as a kind of Harley Quinn style, just maniac. And they didn't. They held back a bit to where we do see a majority of what she wants, what she's attempting, you know, with her affiliation with Silco, with what she's trying to do within his gang is establish a family, something that she lost and she deeply mourns. And we see that she has a number of different wants and desires. She wants acceptance. She wants to be loved. She wants absolution. She wants to redeem herself in her sister's eyes. And yet all of these things, we can see this like, as you hear that laundry list of motivations, this all collaborates into a fragmented mentality. And so we see that behind a bit of her erratic behavior, there is a lot of pain, unfortunately. And so from where we are at the end of episode six, we're actually very well placed into what I'm sure is going to be an exciting climax. So I greatly enjoy these episodes. Uh, what did you guys think? Did you watch them? Uh, did you have any like thoughts on any particular character's uh, storyline? There's a lot of characters that I, that I mentioned, but even with a slightly, I wouldn't say it has a large cast, but there's still a lot of attention given to a number of different places. And I didn't really like uh, have time necessarily, I'm trying to keep it short, you know, to mention everyone. Is there a character storyline that you particularly thought was uh, was interesting? Please let me know in the comments section. Thank you very much as always for you know joining me here on Movie Ninja. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.